Now, one day out from the 50th year anniversary of man landing on the moon, the excitement is building at the Kennedy Space Center. Crowds will be on hand there to mark the milestone, and stories will be shared by so many people who were at the Cape for the Apollo 11 launch back in 1969. CBS Force Ty Russell joins us from near Cape, uh, the uh, Kennedy Space Center, to share the special story of one man in particular has very vivid memories of all this. Ty? Definitely, Elliot and Francis. Saturday is a big day. It is the 50 year mark where the crew from Apollo 11 landed on the moon. And we did talk to a man who lived for decades in Miami and who recorded the launch here at Kennedy Space Center right over my shoulder. And today we're also learning what NASA is trying to do to get back to the moon faster. It, it was unreal. Mike Madrano remembers the day Commander Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. I saw that foot coming down, man. That was, that was incredible. Saturday marks 50 years since the major milestone during the Apollo 11 mission. At 15 years old, Medrano and his family drove from Miami and slept in a car overnight to witness the launch. He used the camera to film it and record all the people who pulled over to watch the launch. Now, NASA is working to start more missions. The first female and, this, and the male back to the moon by 2024. So we are working on the Artemis program right now. And so the, S, uh, the SLS rocket will be launching uh, in late 2020. NASA leaders told Senators Marco Rubio and Rick Scott in a meeting Friday they're seeking help from creative minds to make it happen and not just rocket scientists used to pull in uh, not just the talent at NASA or our contractors, but these small businesses that can really address our problems, take small seed money, and hopefully develop something that we could possibly use or can translate to something else. It's something Madrano is excited for, especially as companies work with NASA to send people to the moon and eventually to Mars. You know, you've got SpaceX and Blue Origin, and uh, the, uh, they're working on the SLS system. And as NASA continues to test equipment ahead of the major launch, Madrano will get his camera ready for that next major milestone. And Vice President Pence will be here tomorrow to mark the major milestone to celebrate with this entire community. He is expected to talk about not only Apollo 11, but getting back to the moon and then eventually to Mars. Elliot Francis. So ambitious, Mike Madrano has history right there in his home on the Space Coast. Uh, Ty, let me ask you, besides the uh, vice president's speech, what other activities are planned for tomorrow? Oh, there's a lot planned, but one in particular, which was fascinating to me, was over at American Space Museum. There will be some of those NASA engineers who helped guide the astronauts on the moon, helped guide them through space, so they will be able to talk to us and to the public. So a lot will be happening tomorrow besides the vice president speaking. Elliot Francis.